Hello everyone. In the last video lecture series, we learnt about the working of human heart through a box diagram. Here is the actual picture of the heart and we will be comparing both of them together so we, we may not get confused uh, by this box diagram. Here you can see that this part which is shown over here is the right atrium. This part left atrium is shown over here so this is sorry the left atrium and this these are tricuspid valve these are bicuspid valve now this is right ventricle here again right ventricle this is left ventricle left ventricle you can see here aorta is shown aorta actually comes out of the left ventricle and so here is the, the left ventricle and the aorta is this and you might be amazed to know that aorta is the largest artery in our human body okay now let's look at this part right ventricle so here is the light, uh, right ventricle from right ventricle the pulmonary artery starts so from the right ventricle the blood goes into the pulmonary artery this is pulmonary artery to the lungs so the blood goes to the lungs this is of course deoxygenated blood and from here this is aorta and aorta always contains oxygenated blood okay now let's look at pulmonary vein that originates from the lungs and goes into the left atrium so you can see that the blood from the lungs will go like this and these are nothing but pulmonary vein okay now this is these are the body organs which are located below the heart and from there the inferior vena cava originates so this is inferior vena cava inferior vena cava that brings the deoxygenated blood from the body organs and finally it enters in the right atrium in the same way this is superior vena cava that collects the deoxygenated blood from the upper uh, body parts the body parts which are located above the heart and it brings the carbon dioxide containing blood to again the right atrium okay now here also in the aorta and pulmonary artery and all those veins there are valves over here also so the valve which is present over here is aortic valve and here also there is a pulmonary valve so let's conclude our discussion over here so what happens is from inferior vena cava and superior vena cava the deoxygenated blood is brought in the right atrium then from here the blood is pushed in and this is the deoxygenated blood so the deoxygenated blood reaches over here now from here it is going to enter into the pulmonary artery from pulmonary artery the deoxygenated blood goes to the lungs from lungs the purification of the blood takes place carbon dioxide is removed oxygen is added so from the lungs the blood goes through the pulmonary vein and that blood is oxygenated blood that goes in the left it went left atrium from left atrium it goes to the so here the oxygenated blood reaches and that oxygenated blood goes to the left ventricle this is oxygenated blood from here it goes to aorta so aorta is this like this and then it is supplied to all the body parts so here we can see the comparison between both of them you might also be amazed to know that these walls of the left atrium are thick and strong these walls the walls of the left ventricle are even thicker than the walls of the right ventricle it is because when 
when these two lower chambers of the heart contract the blood which is in the right ventricle only goes to the lungs which is quite near to the heart so it need not to compress more but when this part contracts the blood goes to aorta and aorta trans transports the oxygenated blood to all the body parts so this portion has to be more thicker so that it compresses the blood by very high amount and that blood reaches to all the body parts